HTML frames, an overview of HTML frames. Now frames are pretty useful when you want to display more than one web page or website in a single browser session, in a single browser. So let's take a look here. We've got a frame set up and we've got uh, a horizontal frame set up where we've got frame A, B, and C. Here. Actually these are three distinct and separate web pages. You'll see at the top I've got the frame set uh, parameter, the same frame set tag selected, and I've got this set up in rows. And you see that I have it set up in rows, and I have it designated by 25, 50, and 25. And what that represents is the percentage of space, with 100% being total, percentage of space that each frame is taking up. So frame A is taking up 25%, B 50%. C, 25%. And again, these are distinct web pages. And you see that I can adjust well, with my, uh, my uh, mouse here. I can change the sizes. But I'll show you later on in this demonstration, later on, how to lock that so your users can't change the sizes. Next, I'm going to demonstrate vertical frame set. Pretty much the same thing, except in the frame set command, I'm I'm using columns as opposed to rows. Again, it's set up 25, 50, and 25%. Again, these are three distinct web pages or websites that are in each frame, 25, 50, and 20% for, for starters. And these are adjustable, but I can show you later how to lock it so you won't, so your users will not be able to, to adjust those. Next, I'm going to demonstrate a mixed frame set. So what this is, is a combination of the two, a combination of horizontal and vertical. Our, our first command here is 50-50 rows. So what I just simply did was I designated the top half, I made a frame in the bottom half, uh, one frame. And then the bottom, I sectioned off into columns with frame B being 25% and then C being 75%. And again, these are adjustable. I haven't locked this in, but again, these are, again, frame A, B, and C are distinct web pages or websites. And again, and to change this around, I could change from columns to rows, and you see that I've got it sectioned off with the column 50%, and then the rows 25, 75. So I just simply change the, the, uh, the set here. This is a, uh, a a representation or a, an example of a, a mixed frame set but no resize. If you were to try to resize, it would not allow you to resize. Next, let's talk about iframes. Iframes simply allow you to embed an entire website into a window on your web page. So here you'll notice that I'm looking at the webacademy.org and it is showing the entire website right here in this small window. I'm scrolling up and down. You can see this window. Web Academy's site, and I can scroll up and down and, and, and show you that kind of good stuff. So it's good for embedding. Lastly, we're going to talk about uh, if we wanted to, with, within a frame, specify a certain section within an iframe within a frame for navigation. So here we have a link, and then we have it designated uh, by our, our link command. And what this allows us to do is, within a frame, link to a certain part of the frame. And um, that command is there for you to use. So I thank you for this time, and I hope you enjoyed our presentation on HTML frames. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.